Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. My name is Kelly, and today I wanted to talk with you guys about some of the mistakes that I made as a new real estate agent my first year into the business and some adjustments that I will be making as I propel my way through year number two. So tip number one for you guys is to be consistent with your follow-up and your prospecting. And with prospecting my first year, I primarily focused on doing a lot of open houses for the first six months. And then after about the six to eight month mark, I started to diversify my prospecting and I started to focus on cold calling and door knocking as well. And in regards to follow up, that leads me to my second tip, which is to invest in a CRM system. And what led me to finally invest in a CRM system, I was approaching the final months of my first year being an agent. And I was thinking to myself, what can I do to propel my business through year two and to allow me to do more transactions and to connect with more people and just grow my volume. And that is when I made the decision to finally invest in a CRM system. Because those of you who are full-time agents, you know <laughs> the amount of work and the amount of people that you need to connect with on a weekly and monthly basis in order to have a successful business in real estate. And being able to keep track of all of those potential leads, prospects, and clients all by yourself without having a system in place to automate emails, texts, and to send you reminders to follow up with clients so there isn't anything falling through the cracks is quite impossible without a system in place like that. And tip number three is to not become attached to outcomes. And so I'm gonna insert a little story time right here for you guys because what ended up happening for me, I became attached to the outcome of once a property went into escrow that it was going to close. And so around the six or eight month mark of me being an agent, I had to cancel my first deal, unfortunately. And what ended up happening, I was representing an investor client of mine and we got the home in contract for a great price and then we had some inspections done while we were in escrow and there were some things that came back that were not good and were not negotiable for my buyers so we ended up canceling. And fortunately, we ended up finding a better investment for them a few months after but I became so attached to the outcome of the deal closing once it got into escrow and you cannot do that. And another thing that I've seen some agents fall victim to is to count commissions before they close and you definitely do not want to do that. Make sure you have a good money management system in place so you don't fall victim to that. And tip number four for you guys, this is going to be applicable to any of you. All of you, even if you're not a real estate agent, um, you're not a business owner, you're not a salesperson, this will apply to you. And that is to stop trying to be perfect. Do not listen to the bullshit. This is your life, this is your story, and you should be the only person holding the pencil. And life is too precious to not genuinely enjoy every moment of your life the way that you want to have it. And those of you who are watching this who have never met me in person, the Kelly that you are seeing now on camera is the Kelly that you will meet in person. And I definitely fell victim to the mentality that I had to be perfect and I had to look a certain way and I had to do certain things to kind of fit the mold as a real estate agent, right? As I had gotten into the business and I felt like I had to dress older <laughs> to look older than I really was. And I'm not doing that anymore. 
I am not here to fit the mold and I'm going to embrace the fact that I'm different. And the great thing about that is I have a variety of different things to offer. And so I encourage you all to not always go with the flow because this is your life and life is too short to be living somebody else's life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.